He's one of England and Manchester United's most important players. He's also another black footballer subjected to racist abuse on social media. After his club's nil-all draw with Arsenal yesterday, Marcus Rashford received abusive messages on Instagram. Writing on Twitter, he said it was humanity and social media at its worst, but that he wouldn't share screenshots. He wrote, I have beautiful children of all colours following me, and they don't need to read it. Beautiful colours that should only be celebrated. Rashford's abuse follows that of several other players this week. His teammates Anthony Martial and Axel Twanzebi, along with Chelsea's Rhys James, have all been victims. And yesterday, a man was arrested for sending a racist message to West Brom player Romain Sawyers. This evening, Prince William, who's president of the FA, tweeted that racist abuse, whether on the pitch, in the stands or on social media, is despicable and it must stop now. We all have a responsibility, he said, to create an environment where such abuse is not tolerated. That responsibility extends to the platforms where so much of this activity now takes place. Social media giant Facebook, which owns Instagram, said it's removed accounts and comments and is continuing to investigate. Football's anti-racism charity says this week's events are all too familiar and that tech companies, law enforcement and government all need to do more. If a black player has a bad game or is perceived to have a bad game, we know that those comments and those emojis will follow, sure as day. It happens all the time. And that's actually the most depressing thing, is that it's predictable and we're expecting it. The Kick It Out anti-racism campaign was launched in the 90s, three decades on, and while there's new talent on the pitches, some old, ugly attitudes remain. Jessica Savage, ITV News.